guys welcome back to my channel today we're gonna be doing a full face of black owned beauty I'll be doing this look right here uh, thank you so much for being here I appreciate it if you haven't already make sure you subscribe to the channel y'all and without further ado let's get into it Okay guys, hi, yes, woo! We're here. So, I'm just gonna get right into it. I've got all my little products here. Um, I realized while doing this that I really don't have a lot of variety in black owned uh, beauty brands. Like it was kind of hard, like actually a few things actually went and ordered, which is totally fine. I mean. I don't mind having to go and order it, but it makes you realize how many um, beauty brands aren't, it's not that there aren't a lot of black owned beauty brands because there are, it's just unfortunate that they're not recognized in the space. And so I know I realized it's almost the end of freaking February, it's the 24th, the day that I'm filming this, and I haven't, I've had this little basket prepared for a couple of weeks now and it's just been sitting. I haven't filmed anything else. I just haven't had time. And so it's just been sitting and I haven't done anything with it. I'm like, dude, Lauren, get with it. So that's what we're doing today. Today is all black owned and I have to be honest, I don't have a black owned primer. I'm not gonna mention the things that um, aren't black owned in the actual video, but I will link them down below in case you're interested. So yeah, let's get into it. For foundation, I will be using the Beauty Bakery Insta Bake Foundation. I have the shade 353C. I'm just gonna go in with a few pumps. I have used this foundation before, but I do like the foundation. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. And the color that I've chosen, this 353C, it's it looks a little white on camera, but in person it's really, really nice. It doesn't have really a smell to it. And what makes this foundation really great is that it's really, really lightweight. It's not, it's not necessarily mattifying. I don't think it claims to be, is it? It's called the Aqua Glass Foundation. It says inspired, sorry, my light is really bright and it's hard to see. There's like a shadow behind me. It says inspired by the elegance and minimalistic approach to beauty that Japan is known for. Uh, Instabank Aqua Glass Foundation delivers extraordinary performance and applies like frosting. Um, rightfully named Instabake is a full coverage, poreless, vegan formula, covers anything left in its wake, from uneven tone to scars and blemishes. Yeah, so it doesn't claim to be mattifying, and from what I remember from it, it's not, which doesn't claim to be, so I'm not upset that it's not. Yeah, I know that it did leave a really nice... Um, kind of like satin like finish like a natural skin like a year skin but better alrighty it looks like we're pretty we're pretty blended moving on to concealer I'm a little nervous because this is a new product for me it's from Uoma Beauty I've heard a lot of good things about this um, and it's called woke I think that's what they call their um because it says it on the side it's really cute it says woke but I got the shade Fair Lady T1. Mm. Now, again, this is black owned. So I don't know if maybe the shades are, um, cause I mean, of course, they're black women or men created these brands to cater to deeper skin tones. So this is by no means me throwing shade. Cause it's not, I understand every other beauty company, beauty brand that's out there in the drugstore at Ulta, Sephora, QVC, whatever, 99.99999% of those products are going to be geared towards people who are my skin tone with slight variations. And that's just unfortunately the world that we live in. Um, so when I think of fair lady, I think of, you know, a fair ass lady, but I'm going to show, this is the shade I got. I'm going to show you um, the shade that I normally, a shade example that I normally use. All right, this is the concealer that I buy from Essence. So 
I'm a little nervous because I know I've heard great things about both their foundation and their concealer. So I know the concealer is going to be bomb. I know that the formula is bomb. But the shade, you guys, ooh, she going to be a little dark. She a dark fair lady. But that's all right. We're going to make it work. We're going to use it. If I have to mix them, then that's what we'll do. You know, we'll cheat a little bit. Ooh. Yeah, she's, she's a dark girl. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Ooh, she orange? She real orange. Okay, that's okay. I, I don't, I'm just going to do it, guys. Because I'll look orange on camera. So I'm just going to mix a little bit of this uh, essence. I'm quite positive they're not a black on beauty brand, but maybe they are, and I just don't even know it. But I don't think they are. Mm, but it blends out really nice. It's really smooth. And it really, it doesn't blend out as dark as what it is. I mean, it's still, it's still dark. It's pretty, it's pretty dark, you guys. For, for me, for me. I'm, I'm a little bit more fairer than that fair lady. You know what I'm saying? But it has beautiful coverage. Beautiful coverage. Oh my gosh. And it blends out so smooth. It's not thick. But it's for sure full coverage which I love. All right, so this next product, obviously it's gonna be powder. I have never used this powder before, but I've heard so many wonderful things about it. It's not a new powder. I just have never, I don't know, I just have never purchased any, anything from this brand. And it is the Fenty Beauty uh, Translucent Loose Setting Powder. Well, actually I don't have it in translucent, I lie. I have it in butter, which apparently if you're my skin tone or if you're trying to highlight and you have deeper skin tone this this butter shade mm, apparently it's the one so i'm really excited i'm gonna go ahead and set my under eyes really quick because they're feeling a little greasy oh yes oh yeah it is just i can feel it locking my whole under eye into place like it ain't going nowhere and the color is really nice. I was really nervous about getting a shade, you know? Typically, I do gear towards purchasing the translucent powders. I mean, and Fenty does have a translucent, like a translucent powder. This one, I just, like I said, is in butter. But it certainly is not giving me, like, um, an oxidation or like a yellow cast which I was kind of afraid because if you see look in the pan I don't want to spill it but there is kind of like you can tell where the powder is against the white back <gasps> horse beer <sighs> against the white backdrop but it's not um this maybe was probably a better way to show you but it definitely isn't giving me yellow vibes on my face and it smells good it doesn't smell like butter but it kind of Smells like a cookie, maybe like a sugar cookie or something. I'm here for it. All right, you guys, new favorite powder for sure. It's really, really soft on the skin. So not much. Time. Moving on. I don't know if I'm gonna do my eyes. I'm gonna reapply some powder under my eyes and then I think I'm gonna do that. Cause this eyeshadow palette that I'm gonna use, I've never used before and um, it is new, but I didn't buy it for this video. I just, I saw it on another YouTuber's, um, in her video, and she was talking about the company, and I was really inspired by the company. It's owned by three women. Um, one, I believe, is Chinese, one is from India, and one is from DR Congo. It's the Dominican Republic of Congo, I think is what the DR stands for, Dominican Republic, which, if you didn't know is a place in Africa, a country in Africa. And they came out with, um, each woman came out with a palette or you could buy the trio. And so, and the trio was really reasonably priced. I don't, I'm so sorry, I don't remember the, the amount to the T, um, but I will link it down below. The company is called Mira Beauty Co. And I'm obviously going to be using the one from the DR Congo. It's called, oh, geez, you guys. I'm going to do my best to pronounce the palette and pronounce the shade names inside. 
but it's I want to say Kwazi Queen K O I W E -Z, or maybe that's not an I because it doesn't have a dot. Cole, maybe it's an L. Colweezy, Colweezy. I don't know, you guys. I think it's spelled K-O-L-W-E-Z-I, and then Queen. But it looks like this. Oh, how beautiful is that packaging? And then the inside. Oh my gosh, you guys. I have touched that blue, and I've swatched some other ones, but I haven't actually put it. I haven't used it. I haven't put it to the test. But how beautiful is that? I mean, I have to use that blue, right? I mean, how could you not? It's gorgeous. Okay, guys, I've attempted to zoom you in, but my ring light stand is broken. It's the ghettoest, most piece of ever. I need to order it. I literally just did it today. Like, I've never had issues with it. Like, the, it won't tighten. So all I can do is, like, lift or lower the legs. And it's just, I'm like... And they're not cheap. I mean, even like the cheap ones are like 80 bucks. So I'm just like, ugh, always something. Always something. But we're going to keep it moving. Ghetto light and all. And we're going to go in with this OD shade. This right here. I guess I'll just lean forward and duck. I don't know. We're going to make it work, you guys. yeah that's really pigmented I'm just going to do one eye for you guys I'm not doing anything crazy I do want to use some of these really fun colors just because I why not you know I don't typically use fun colors because when I do my makeup it's to go to work since we're not going anywhere these days but I really enjoy this color. It's really, really pretty. So I'm just going to do a simple eye look, but with bold colors. And this is like, this is one dip. And I mean, that is a pigmented, beautiful, orangey, terracotta-ish, I don't know what kind of undertone brown. I mean, that blended itself like I didn't have to do anything special I mean look at how beautiful that color is it's absolutely stunning oh what color next I know I want to use the blue so what would be maybe I'll go in let me see what that blue feels like oh it's like legit suppressed glitter oh it's so nice it's so nice and this wipes right off oh Oh, that's going to be easy to get off your eyelids. You know how some glitters you get it everywhere and it sticks to your whole body for weeks and you're like, why do I still have this eyeshadow glitter on my knee? Uh, I just don't know what color to pair with it. I'm just going to get it on my lid. Beautiful color. Oh my God. So beautiful. This is a really nice color. Can you guys see? Is it focused? I'm going to swatch it for you. Really pretty. It's definitely like a maroony pink, like a wine color. That's a perfect way to describe it. It's a wine color. Guys, I really hope this is focused. I feel like it's focused. Is it focused? I don't think you could tell me, but I think that it is. Cover up that little crease right there. Okay, and I'm going to go in with a clean um, sh blending brush, and I'm just going to... Oh, this is not a blending brush. Well, I guess it kind of is. We're just going to get in there so those edges are nice and even. I think I'm going to go in with just a little bit more with that blending brush and try to kind of just get it in. This is a nice brush. This is kind of like you can pack and blend. It's like a two in one. I'm into this brush. This brush is from ColourPop. It's the E22. Oh, and I just wanted to mention, I'm not experiencing any fallout, nor am I experiencing much, if any, kickback. The brown I kind of did because I kind of dug in a little bit. I kind of like swirled it with my brush, but I'm not getting any kickback 
really. I mean, it's, nothing's outside the pan. Uh, I love this formula. This is a good formula, you guys. I got all three palettes. They're all this size. Um, I got all three of them, I want to say, for $65. And they're, like I said, they're all this size. And let's see, there's four, there's 12 pans in here for uh, $65, all three of them. I just, I couldn't be like, mm, no, that's okay. They're And they're all beautiful. They're all beautiful palettes. Uh, I think I'm just going to put the blue sparkle maybe in, like, my inner corner. Mmm, that might be cute. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to try another Morphe brush. I'm not going to wet it first. I'm going to see how it performs dry. I don't know if I need, I've never used a pressed glitter before. This would be a first for me in real life and on my channel. So I don't know. I think I probably will have to wet it. That way it will stick. But we're going to see. We're going to experiment. Okay, not what I was expecting or where exactly I wanted to put it, which there's nothing wrong with the eyeshadow. It's that's a user error. Like I said, I've never I've never used glitter before. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a spray, and I'm gonna see what happens. I mean, it does look beautiful. It's just not exactly what I was going for if you know what I mean okay we're gonna try again with a wet brush Ooh, breathing people honking at each other and it's like the pan is so soft like I can just like dig my brush I don't know maybe this is like a finger application type of thing I'm having I'm struggling you guys I went in with the Shaba, this brighter pink, and I'm just going to put it underneath. I'm just kind of like bringing it into the glitter and it's making the glitter kind of like mold into the eyeshadow. Interesting. Can you guys see that? I was kind of creating like a, sh like a deeper shadow. It's like molding into my skin almost. It's very, it's very interesting. I have to say. I'm going to grab a smaller brush. That way I can really get into this like what, how did I think I pronounced it? Lignee? Girl, I don't know. L-I-G-N-E accent E. This wine color that I used earlier. I'm gonna, oop, I'm gonna go in there and I'm just gonna deepen up this portion. Y'all, yeah. I'm into it. I wish, I, I don't feel like it's translating on camera the way it's looking in person, but I really, really like it. I'm gonna go off camera and I'm gonna do the other eye as fast as I can and I'll be right back and I'll you guys okay the eyeballs are done and I really it's like I don't think I'd ever do this like to wear out but I'm here for it like it's cute um, I have a bronzer from Minted Cosmetics. This is their lightest bronzer. A little dark for me, at least right now, because, you know, I haven't seen the sun and I don't know how long. I got it in Beach Bum. If I can get it open. And it looks like this. It's a little orangey-ish for me, but it's... I have used it before. I did order it for my black-owned beauty videos. That's what I'm saying. Like, I went through my stash to, like, collect products, like, to make a full face. I'm like, oh, I don't have this. I don't have this. I don't have this. Let me let me order some. So we're just going to go in real, real loosely since it is kind of dark for me um, with just like, a fluffy brush. Typically, I would use this for, um, I'm going to get actually a bigger one. That's kind of domed. Let me find. I'm gonna go with this e.l.f. brush. This is just an all-over powder face brush, but I'm gonna use it for the bronzer. And I'm just gonna swirl it around. 
because I am not going to contour. I don't have time for that. Ooh, child. Ooh, okay. All right. Whenever I used it before, I used, um, I guess, not so much. <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. Mm, let me defuse this real quick. I. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's so crazy town. <gasps> it's so dark. Okay, there we go. Ooh, ooh. Mmm. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Oh, wow. Okay, as much as, you know, we're here to support black-owned businesses and beauty community, if you're my skin tone um, or lighter or even um, two to three shades darker than me, maybe Minted Cosmetics bronzer. Um, it's not for us, girl. It is not for us, and that is okay. There are plenty of brands um, that make bronzers for boys and girls that look like me so I'm not I, I'm not upset I just think it's so funny and I have used it before and it wasn't this like in person it is not that psycho oh but on camera girl mmm she oh she is oh oh that's all that she is but in person I will say in person I'm living for her but on camera, dang, she little, she little toasty. That's, that's as good as it's gonna get. Okay, moving on. Now this is the Juvia's Place, the Saharan Blush Volume 2. And obviously you can tell by looking at it, um, it's a little dark for me as well. And I've already mentioned that. I'm gonna go in with Lena, the really, really like bubblegummy pink one. I love this one actually. I also love B as well. Sometimes I'll mix the two, but I feel like since my cheeks are already so um bronzed maybe i should go in with like a lighter blush that's that's the theory i'm going with oh my god i'm gonna have to diffuse this too <laughs> uh, but i do love me some juvia's place i love their eyeshadow and i love their lip products sometimes i'll use this blush palette as an eyeshadow palette as well because that way i can you know utilize all of the colors in this palette all right, we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go in with the remaining powder on this sponge and I'm just gonna diffuse that blush a little bit. Guys, it's so fun just to be here with you, just to just to be experimenting and playing with makeup because obviously I'm not. You know how some people on YouTube, they're like, oh, I'm a guru. No, I'm not a guru. I love makeup. I love playing with makeup. Um, and I just want to share that with, you know, my friends and hopefully they share it with their friends and, you know, so on and so forth. And I can be here to show you guys my successes and my failures. And, you know, we can have a good, a good time together. And that's really what it's about. Hope you're having a good time too. We're going to do the bottom lash line. That way it looks more like a complete look. And I'm just going to sweep the, um, the wine color underneath it. And that's going to really be, the be it. I mean... I'm not gonna get too crazy with the lower lash lines. I feel like my eyelid is already like, wow, wowza. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You guys, I was finishing my eyes off camera, but I wanted, you can't, oh, you, can you really tell? Let me see, maybe the focus is off. Maybe that's better, but I am using the Uoma Drama Bomb Mascara. First time using it. I only purchased the mini because the full size was kind of expensive for a mascara. The mini I think was maybe like $12 or $13, possibly $14. Still pretty expensive for a mini. Um, but I know why it has that price tag. I don't know if you guys can tell. Obviously, you can't see my lashes at all. This mascara is freaking amazing like I put on so many coats trying to build it up it didn't need to be I just wanted to see how how many coats could I put before it becomes clumpy and like gross and like not attractive and it still hasn't reached that point and I probably put on like six coats and I'm like wiggling it in there the um wand is my kind of girl she's thick but like has like 
material like bristles not like those plasticky like that poke you in the eye absolutely freaking phenomenal like i will be purchasing the full size i don't care if it's 40 bucks i want it it's my new favorite mascara okay you guys wow so i went ahead and finished my makeup off camera i just did the rest of my, my other eye mascara and my lips for my lips i used beauty bakery in glam jam and then i topped it off with a gloss from juvia's place it's their naomi naomi um a gloss okay you guys i love this look i love how it came out i think it's so came out mm, i love how it came out mm, mm -mm. and you know at the end i don't mind how deep the uh bronzer is i didn't contour thank the lord because that would have been a catastrophe but I love this look. I think it's bright. It's fun. It's springtime. It's like a festival. Like I just want to go. And I don't know. Like I think it's so, so beautiful. And it just goes to show that I have lipstick on my teeth. It just goes to show that, oh, hey, Mimi, that anybody can and everybody should be buying from and supporting black owned businesses there's no excuse because i am the color of paper literally like i don't think i used to have this misconception that i was tan because whenever i was younger i t i would always be out in the sun and i tanned very very easy and so as a teenager in early 20s i typically was very dark um for a white person like i tan very very easily it's it's quite a blessing but now that i'm a mom i have a full-time job covid um i'm not outside and um my birth color you guys she a white girl she is as white as white can get i guess it's the french in me but ooh, she white i'm white mm. but <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching it to the end thank you for rocking and rolling with me going through this full phase of black owned beauty products i am so thankful that you're here i'm kind of speed throwing it because a i go get my kids it's 5 42 i'm gonna be there by six luckily it's just down the street and of course my battery light is like bleep 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 what what's what's new but honestly, y'all, I had so much fun this past couple days. I've been kind of feeling in a rut. My head's been hurting me. Um, I, and I just haven't really felt like myself. And this, this has been so much fun experimenting and exploring with makeup, a new eyeshadow palette, showing you guys that black owned beauty isn't just for black people. You know, like you should support all walks of life all creations all creators if you have it in your mind that oh it's a black owned beauty brand and and of course their advertisement is geared towards you know people of deeper skin tones because they miss out on that from the mainstream beauty brands but don't feel like you can't support them because you can um they make things they make products for everyone and a lot of their products are really really phenomenal they're really great um, I loved everything that I tried today. I cannot wait to get a full size wand of this mascara. This mascara is amazing. Absolutely love it. Beauty Bakery, probably the most mainstream, aside from Juvia's Place, of um, black owned beauty brands. Both those beauty brands are so wonderful. But I suggest trying brands like Minted and, you know, and just Googling black owned beauty brands. Oh, and of course Fenty. Everyone knows Fenty, but, you know, Google it. And I, I, all of these products were just wonderful and uh, I'm rambling, but thank you again so, so much for watching, sticking out to the end, laughing with me, going through the trials and tribulations of experimenting with makeup. And I do hope that you subscribe and you ring the bell. That way you're notified of all my future uploads and you guys keep on sticking it out with me and you keep on watching. And I love you so much until the next one. Bye.